Scott, and I call on Monica Lennon. Ms Lennon, please. Thank you, Presiding Officer, and to Richard Leonard for securing this debate, because we should take every opportunity to celebrate our NHS and especially to say thank you on the 70th anniversary. And although there's been, I think, 11 men have spoken so far and just one woman, we should remember that over three quarters of NHS staff are women. So an extra special thank you to the sisters in the NHS. Most of us hope that we never need it. But when we do, the NHS is always there. When I told a constituent about this debate, without prompting yesterday, she sent me a message um, about what the NHS means to her. And with her permission, I'd like to share that with you. I have squamous cell cancer in my colon. It is an unusual cancer in that area. It does not present itself with a lot of symptoms for most people. More often, it is only detected in later stages. However, my GP listened to me when I told her I had some rare occasions of slight bleeding, which worried me. That examination was done on the Wednesday and the diagnosis was confirmed the following Monday by a colonoscopy. I then had various tests, CT scans, MRI scans, PET scans, chemotherapy and radiotherapy at the Beetson. I was very well looked after by all involved in my treatment, despite the slight complication of a heart attack in the middle of it all. The very last step now is to reverse my stoma. Although the NHS have missed the anticipated date for this procedure, they have sent me a letter hoping to increase capacity in general surgery so that I may have a date for my operation soon. I owe my life to the NHS. The hardworking doctors, nurses, radiologists, oncologists, surgeon, colorectal nurses, cardiologists, anaesthetists, paramedics and the auxiliary staff who looked after me are true heroes in my eyes. I fully support the NHS and hope we never take it for granted. I am grateful to Lanarkshire Cancer Care Trust for their services in taking me to and from my many medical appointments during my treatment. I have had a very positive experience of our NHS, but I know that there are always room for improvements. Long live the NHS and may Scottish Labour, that's us guys, always fight to keep it as one of our country's finest institutions. Happy 70th birthday NHS. Because of you, because of you, I will see many more birthdays with my family, continue to work and contribute to society and our nation. And it's signed with a kiss from mum. And that is the story of my mum, Helen, who was diagnosed and treated for bio cancer and suffered a heart attack in the middle of it all last year. Both she and I and all of our family are so grateful for the amazing care she's received over the past year from the amazing healthcare staff in our NHS, including Dr Mary Jo Somerville from Calderside Medical Practice, who was on the phone, I think, a number of times, several times a week, uh, Mr R.G. Mukherjee, the surgeon at Hearmeyer's Hospital, Mr Tariq Abdullah, her oncologist at the Beetson, Dr Gronya Dunn, the, the medical oncologist uh, colorectal at Hearmeyer's, and numerous uh, nurses at the Beetson. My mum has had a phenomenal experience with the NHS, but resourcing problems in the NHS can affect us all. And it's true, my mum is still waiting to have her final operation to reverse her stoma. At the end of May, she received an apology letter from NHS Lanarkshire that her 12-week treatment time guarantee had not been met due to capacity issues in general surgery. So even the best of cases are not immune from the challenges and pressures facing our NHS. And there's no doubt that our NHS does face serious pressures. But in my mum's case, I will be forever grateful to the incredible men and women who have treated her over the past few months. As the motion says, it's right we celebrate our NHS, we should be celebrating, and it's always inc these incredible stories of success that we should be mindful of when we talk about why ensuring our NHS itself is properly cared for is so important. In conclusion, presiding officer, thank you NHS and happy 70th birthday. Thank you, thank you very much.